Karen Brady slams Meghan and Harry for exploiting royal fame mercilessly in the state. Baroness Karen Brady, 54, has hit out at Meghan and Prince Harry for exploiting royal fame mercilessly in the United States as they continue to mix in showbiz circles across the pond. So guys, as we get right into the story in much detail, please do ensure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't, give the video a like and please watch it right up to the very end. Karen Brady has blasted Meghan Markle and Prince Harry for clinging to your titles and exploiting royal fame to create a showbiz image for themselves. Last week, the Duchess of Sussex donned a gold dress and went to the 2023 Women of Vision event in New York City, where she looked very inch and early star. Meghan was joined by her mother, Doria Reglan, and husband, Prince Harry, as the pose for pictures on the red carpet. When the former suit actress has been a senior royal in the UK, she had admitted only wearing muted tones to blend in with other members of the royal family. However, for the Women of Vision event, she opted for all strapless metallic gold dress designed by Joanna Otis and retailing at £1,483. Karen said of Meghan's appearance, What struck me is that she seems to be aiming for a rebrand. More and more, is it looks like Meghan and Harry are placing themselves in showbiz rather than the royal realm. She continued in the Sun column saying that their brand has got no value in the UK due to the decision to have the royal family, to leave the royal family, sorry, at the same time as clinging to their titles and exploiting royal fame mercilessly. Meghan coordinated her new glamorous look with strappy gold Tom Ford heels, a small gold clutch from um, Carolina Herrera, gold JR earrings and a stack of gold and diamond bracelets. I rarely wore color, Meghan said in the third episode of Netflix, Harry and Meghan, darker series, reflecting on a time as a senior royal. The Duchess, who married Prince Harry in 2018, added that there was thought uh, there was thought in that, explaining that she didn't want to wear the same shade as another member of the family at events. I was like, well, it was a color that they will probably never wear. Camel, beige, white. She continued to say, I'm not trying to stand out here. The event also marked the first joint public event for the Sussexes since Prince Harry attended King Charles III's coronation, with Meghan staying home in California with Princess Lilibet I and Prince Archie IV, although the couple did recently step out for a sushi dinner with Jean Red Patro and other celebrities. For the sushi dinner, Meghan wore a brown dress designed by Heidi Merrick, paired with Hermes Oran sandals. She accessorized with gold hoop earrings and seemed to carry sunglasses in her hand. Prince Harry kept it casual in black t-shirt and white pants. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.